This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we'll replace a cracked screen on an HP Pavilion DM4 laptop. Uh, this is one of HP's newer laptops. It's very thin and the way it's constructed and the way that HP the repair manual tells you to replace the screen is to pretty much take the whole laptop apart to get to the some screws that are hidden. We're going to do a easier way so you just get to the screen right away. I'll show you a trick so it will take a lot less labor on your part and you don't, you don't risk damaging the connectors inside the laptop. Now uh, to do the job we need some tools. We need some metal tweezers an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a smaller PH0 bit, an X-Acto knife blade, a very small thin flathead screwdriver like this. This is to get to those hidden screws and a plastic prying tool. That's to take the screen frame off. Okay, so the thing that makes this laptop a little bit difficult to work on is the hidden screws. Let me show you where those are. If you look down here, you'll see some plastic covers that hide the screws. And there's one here, and there's two here. So what are we going to do is to take the plastic cover off with the X-Acto blade, like so. And we use a small flathead screwdriver to carefully reach in there and to remove the screw. Now a regular screwdriver can't reach in there because it's at an angle, but we can with a small screwdriver and carefully Sometimes it works better if you do it from the side or from the top. Take your time on this. And it helps if you tilt the screen back a little bit. It can be done. So almost there. You don't want to strip the screw because then, then you have to take the laptop apart and it's out. Okay, now we do the same thing on this side. You remove the plastic cover once again and once again remove the screw. Take your time Try not to force it. Actually, when you first loosen it, you want to apply some quite a bit of pressure so you don't strip the screw, but it's out. Okay, so that's the only screws that are holding the plastic frame on there. And the next job is to remove this plastic frame that surrounds the panel. It's also known as the bezel. It snaps on. So uh, once again, take your time on this. Uh, different things work well for different laptops. You can try finding the seam and seeing if you can do it from the seam. Okay, if that doesn't work, you can try from the side or from the top. These also have adhesive on them, so sometimes it takes a little while to get things going. But we'll be persistent. And right at the corner, we found an opening. So we're going to go around now. And go around the whole laptop with our prying tool. If you don't have a guitar pick, Something plastic is better, but if you not use like a kitchen spreading knife, that that will work also. Go around. 
like so. Over here, and then gently start prying off the frame, like so. Take your time on this, it'll come. Try not to break it. I've broken it before, so it's no big deal, but try not to break it. So, gently go around. You can see the adhesive on there. Like so. Then, turn the laptop around and keep going around. Eventually, you'll get there. I've done this before, so it'll probably take you a little while longer. Or maybe it'll take me a little while longer. There's a seam at the bottom, so let's try to get in there. If it doesn't work with a plastic tool, you can try it with a laser bite to see if you can get an opening. Like so. Keep trying. What you can do is put the razor blade in there and then stick the plastic tube and that worked. So if this takes you a while that's okay. This part's not easy. Okay. And now the plastic frame comes off. So you put the plastic frame to the side and then the whole panel is exposed. Now this is, a L this is a slim LED panel. It doesn't look like the other panels that you see. The other panels have the connections, the screws connecting them on the side. This one has the screws connecting them up here and down here. So it's a little bit easier to remove, but these are more fragile than the older panels. So be careful when putting in a new one. So we start with the four screws. And the fourth one. And then once you do that, very carefully tilt the frame forward, the screen forward, because there will be a connector on the back. And we don't want to damage that connector. We see it's got some adhesive for the camera. So that's why you got to do it carefully. And it's right here. So then you take off the tape. like this, almost there, and this connector is a little bit more tricky because it has wires on both sides, but then you remove it, and there you have it. That's what the back of the panel looks like. So the part number on this panel is B140 XW2, XW02, let's zoom in, B140 XW02 V2. Now the thing to look for this panel is when you order it, make sure that the tabs are in the right location. There are several different variations where these tabs are in different locations. Also, sometimes when you order this, um, they'll send you what they say is a compatible screen, but these holes where the screws go into won't be exactly lined up. I had that happen to me before. In that case, what you need to do is get a Dremel tool with a diamond bit and just expand these holes and then it'll go in. Okay, and you put it in exactly the same way you took it out, being careful with this connector over here. 
So one thing to do is maybe loosen it so it sticks out further so you can more easily do that. And then uh, put it back in and snap the frame on and put those screws back in with a small screwdriver. And that's it. And doing it this way makes the job a lot easier.